Hey folks, welcome back to Gear and Gadget Reviews. I am Brian, and today we got another really cool 12 volt cooler freezer thing to review. Um, I just love these things. I think they're, they come in so handy, especially with all the camping trips that we use, road trips. These things are great, require no ice, and some of these are really good quality. This thing is 37 quarts, a true dual temperature zone, meaning that it's got two separate thermostats to control the interior of this cooler. Some of these have two sections, but you only have one temperature setting that you can adjust. I like these because you can truly make it dual temperature if you want. Um, very well constructed. This thing is kind of built like a tank. It's very hard sided, you know, plastic of course, but it's not flimsy. It's fairly heavy. It's around 25 pounds, empty. The compressor on this thing comes with a three year warranty. And typically with these 12 volt cooler freezer things, your compressor is going to be the first thing that goes out because most of them are cheap components and they just slap them on there. This has got a three year compressor warranty on it directly from Bodega itself. So that's that's a good peace of mind to have when you spend the money on these things. And also the really cool thing about this is it's Bluetooth compatible. So there, you can download an app and you can control the temperature, you can control the settings, the battery protection modes, everything can be controlled from an app. So when you're sitting down in the chair, you know, out camping and you want to check to see how cool your freezer is, you just pop open the app and you can see what the inside temperature is. I just like that you can use your phone to check the temperature. I find that really cool. So, and I've actually used that feature quite a bit out camping when we're checking to make sure that the cooler is still functioning right. Um, it does have these extendable handles to help make it, you know, easier to tow. And they are removable too, if you don't like it because it can, you know, it does stick out about three inches from this side. So you can remove this if you want to. I keep it on and it does have nice, you know, wheels. You know, these are rubber wheels. These are not plastic wheels. So they're gonna last a little bit longer and have a little bit better grip. Coming around back to the side here, you've got your all important can opener. You got your handle. This is where you're gonna plug in your 12 volt or 24 volt cord to charge this thing and it is solar compatible as well. So you've got a solar input too. So you can run this thing off of a solar panel if you have one that's big enough. And up front, and I'll, and I'll show this to you guys better, but this is where your, all your settings are gonna be. This is your, you know, you got your left side temperature settings and your right side temperature settings. And that's basically all there is to it. There's not a whole lot of bells and whistles, which I don't want. It's very easy to, to control, to set the temperature and be done with it. And the lid is, removable so you can change the way that these things open. So if you don't want it to open this way, you just swap it around and now it opens this way. But for sake of this video, my face doesn't get covered up. Let's put it in this way. There you go. And this does have an integrated cutting board that comes out. And it does have, you can't see it yet, but I'll show it to you. It does have an interior LED light that automatically cuts on when you open up this lid. That's actually really useful. Some of these coolers, I don't have lights and it's kind of annoying at night when you go to get a beer out and you can't find the beer that you want because you can't see inside. There is that guys. And just a quick reference, just for size, if you're curious, and I'm gonna measure with the handle, 28 inches long, 17 and a quarter inches tall, 18 inches deep. Enough of the boring specs out of the way. You guys came to see if this cooler works and how fast it cools down and all that good stuff, how many watts it pulls. So let's get right into that. So my first test is gonna be, I'm gonna get some bottled water and I'm gonna stick it in here and I'm gonna set both temperature zones to 15 degrees. So that should freeze water. So let's see how long it takes to freeze those bottles of water. Now I'm not gonna use ambient room temperature water bottles because in real life, if I was trying to freeze water, I would probably take the water out of my refrigerator that I already had in there. I'm not gonna try to make this thing blow up and not work, whatever. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you guys how I would use this personally. So refrigerator temperature, water bottles in here. Let's see how long it takes to freeze. Let's see how long it takes to get this cooler itself from ambient temperature down to that specified temperature that I'm gonna set it at. And let's see how many watts it pulls to get down to that. So speaking of watts, this thing does have a max mode and an economy mode. When I'm running these things on a camping trip, I always put it on economy mode because it, it doesn't use as much wattage right at first. So it doesn't pull a whole lot of juice directly from your battery right at startup. It kind of gradually cools this cooler down. If I was using this at home and I had it plugged into my wall outlet, I would put it on max mode because that's gonna kick this thing into turbo 
and it's gonna cool down this within about 15 to 20 minutes. But again, if I'm using a battery power station, I'm not gonna put it on max mode unless I have a huge battery station and I'm only there for one night. I kinda wanna conserve my energy and not zap my battery that quick so you got two options for that and speaking of the battery this has three levels of battery protection mode it's got high medium and low those are made so it doesn't drain your car battery overnight if you if you put this in the back of your truck and you hook it directly into your 12 volt cigarette style charger it's not going to run it's going to detect when your truck battery gets to a certain level and it's going to cut this thing off automatically so it does not drain your truck battery and you can start your truck or car in the morning so it won't deplete your your vehicle battery it's just a it's just a protection mode so if i'm bringing a separate portable power station like a 500 watt or even a thousand watt battery power station i'll typically put this thing on low just to make sure that this thing doesn't think that it's depleting my battery and it'll run all night long enough of the boring stuff let's get to testing i'm gonna kick this thing on it is come it is it's warm out here so before we get to testing let me just pick you up and show you the inside show you what it looks like so there's your, your dual compartments that you can set independently. Your compressor is going to sit over here. This is a little bit shallower than this deeper bin over here. And these bins are removable in both of them. And it might be kind of hard to see right now, but there's your LED light over there. And you've got one over here. Okay, so let's just see if this thing will show you ambient temperature of this thing right now, which is 87 degrees. I hope that's showing up. We're going to start with 87 degrees and it does come with a your, your standard AC charging brick as well as your 12 volt cord that you're going to need. All right, so I got my battery here. Plug in the cooler to it. Let's turn the battery power on. Let's turn my DC on. Okay. And I hope you guys can get a glimpse of that. It is 9.43 in the morning, and it is and it is 89 degrees outside ambient temperature. So this cooler is going to have to work. So everything's plugged in. This is on. I'm going to cut the cooler on, pressing the power button. I am in max mode. I am in low battery protection, and I'm going to set both sides down to 15 degrees. So let me show you how that works. So this 80 degrees is just, it was what the cooler thinks it is inside. It doesn't really know yet, but so I'm going to set this down to 15 and then to get to that side, you just hit the settings button while it's flashing and you go back down to 15. Okay. So now both sides are at 15. That's going to flash for a little bit and go back up to what the ambient temperature is. With that said, let's kind of do a little test to see how long it's going to take this cooler to get down to the temperature that I want. And again, I'm starting this pretty much right at 9.45 a.m. Let's see what kind of wattage we're pulling. Okay, sorry I had to close my garage door so you wouldn't have this glare. But cooler just started and we are pulling 38 watts of juice right now. And this again is on max mode. Okay, so I know the lighting's not as good in here anymore because I had to shut that garage door, but I just started it. It's pulling 41 watts. It's gonna get down to temperature. Let's see how long it takes it to get to 15 degrees. 9.47 now, so technically it's been running for two minutes. So I'm gonna come back in here and check, see what the temperature is in about 20, 30 minutes. See if we're down to temperature. Well, gang, I goofed up. I did not, I thought that I set the battery protection mode to low, but I actually set it to high and I came out here to check it and it, everything shut down because the voltage dropped too low and he thought that I was depleting my battery. So I went in and I checked again, I am now on low battery protection mode and this thing's starting to run again and I'm pulling 48 watts and let's just start this thing over. So it is now 10:13 a.m right there so now we'll see how far this thing gets down to cool and just so you know the guys i'm not cheating it, it's not it's not cool at all uh it's still 88 degrees in the cooler so let's close that back down and now we'll get this thing started to see how low it can get it down to 15 degrees which i have both sides set at 15 still so let's give this another shot Quick check-in, it's not down to temperature yet, it's only been about 10 minutes, but we are pulling 58 watts. So, per the manual, this thing on max mode will pull 60 watts of juice out of your battery. So I haven't seen it go over 60, 
And in fact, I've only seen it get up to 60 for about half a second. And right now we're hovering at 59 watts. So it looks, guys, if you have this on max setting, 60 watts is going to be your max power draw that you're going to get out of this cooler. Okay, gang, so quick check-in. It is 12.20 p.m. Hope that shows up. And the left side, the small portion of this cooler is at 14 degrees. The big section is now at 20 degrees. When I came out here, I opened this up real quick to make sure everything was working right. So I did let a little bit of cold air out. So that might not have been really fair advantage, but I think we've been going on since 10:15 this morning. So 10:15, 11:15. so about two hours to get it down. Now this is down. Now the big side's down to 18 degrees. So we're working in a 92 degree garage also. So it is, it's definitely warm in here. This is not an indoor environment for this cooler to work in. Hence why the lighting's so bad for this video as well. I'm sorry about that. But the glare's too bad with the garage door open. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this, the cooler cooled down from 85, 86 degrees down to 15 degrees on both sides. And I'll show it to you. I'm now down to 16 degrees on the big side in about two hours, which is pretty good considering it's 92 degrees in here. So let me show you what the temperature looks like. So this left number is the 14 degrees. That's gonna be the small. That 16 degrees is gonna be the big portion of the cooler. That L is going to be for the low battery. It is on max mode and we're at 11.2 volts right now. And the battery unit is pulling 48 watts of juice. Okay, so that lighting is a little better. I do have a thermometer in here. Let me pull it out real quick. It's gonna fog up as soon as I take it out, but it's showing 14 degrees. And that's about 17. I hope you guys can pick that up on that. It already fogged up. About 17 degrees, so I'll take it. It's, it's a degree or two off. These, these things aren't exactly accurate. However, it's well below freezing. Next step is I'm gonna go grab some, again, some water bottles and we're gonna see how long it takes to freeze them. All right, so two refrigerator temperature water bottles, not frozen at all. We're gonna put them in the big section and lock it down. And it is 12.30 p.m. So let's see how long it takes this cooler to freeze those water bottles. All right, folks, it is 6 p.m. Let's see how we're doing on these water bottles. We're about 75% frozen. So again, guys, it is, and it's even hotter in the garage now. So it's 93 degrees in this garage at 6 p.m. I think when he started this, it was like 91. So it's, it's actually getting hotter in here. And this thing is at 15 degrees. It is freezing the water very quickly in this really hot Texas humid summer out here in a hot garage with no wind, no air, nothing to cool it down. So I'll probably check back in here around 7.30 or 8 and see where we stand and give you guys an update then. So see you soon. Okay, gang, well, final check-in for the night. It is 7.45, so let's see how these water bottles are doing. I mean, we're, we're basically frozen. There's a little bit of liquid in there, but overall, I'm gonna go ahead and call that freezing. So, overall, this, this cooler performs very well. Now, I don't have any two liter bottles to show you, but I've got a couple of wine bottles and it, they do fit in the, in the bigger side, in the bigger side. And I'll, and I'll take this up here and I'll show you. So you could probably fit a good, I don't know. You could definitely fit enough wine in here to make you happy because i know i will get some questions this big compartment is 10 and a quarter inches wide by 12 and a half inches deep 12 inches front to back and then the smaller one is going to be seven and three quarters wide six inches deep and again the same let's go with let's 12 inches front to back there goes my wine i'm 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 really happy with this cooler um I, I will be taking it out on Thursday. It's gonna be 100 degrees outside. I've got a lot of stuff to put in it because I've got a fun treat to make on my next camping trip. 
on my other channel. So if you guys wanna see this cooler again out in real world use in 100 degree weather, uh, check that out. I'll leave the link to my channel down below. But overall guys, this cooler is just, it just does really well. And again, with the three year warranty on the compressor on this thing, it's a good peace of mind to have. Cause again, compressors are typically what go out on these type of units. And with a three year from date of purchase, Again, that's just a good peace of mind, I think, to have. So overall, guys, this is, the, again, the Bodega 12-volt cooler. Um, I will leave a link down below in case you just want to check it out and look at it. I'm not, I'm not trying to sell this to you, but I'm just trying to test out products that I use myself that I think are worthy of me telling you about them. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, and we will see you soon. Bye.